So this is what's holding your rear hatch up, and this is what's failed. Okay, first you're going to want to start by propping the rear hatch up with something. I have a bar that's made for that, but you could just use a 2x4 piece of wood. What I'm showing is the new one. That's the one that I began the video with. Um, I wanted to know how to take them off before I decided to go ahead and make a quick video about it. So on this new one, you could see here that it's got a retaining clip. If you were to stick a screwdriver into the top and move that outward, you'll be able to remove this one fairly easily. But the old ones, they're not like that. So here's the old one. This was a 12 millimeter nut on there that had to be removed. On this, I was able to put some WD-40 on and remove it, and that's what I recommend. Soak all four, two on each side, with WD-40 for a while. Let that penetrate in because they're on, I think, tighter than they need to be, of course. Over age, they seem to just stick on. Two of them, I was not able to get off. I actually unscrewed, and no matter how many times I tried, it just rounded over the nut. So this is how I had to remove those, unfortunately. So yeah, I had to bring out the Sawzall, and as you can see here, that one actually just had to be sawed off. And if you have a hacksaw, I've heard of that working as well, and I know it seems pretty ridiculous that it doesn't just remove from the pivot point with a little locking uh, C-clamp like the new ones, but yeah, you may end up happening to do that. So this is one of the sides that I actually had to cut off here. And you can see the car's got the scratches to prove it. But what can you do? And it's an older car, so I'm not too worried about it at this point. Okay, I bought the Monroe brand shocks. And they come with these uh, little nipple parts that the shock hooks onto. And you're going to want to make sure when you buy the new ones that they come with it. There was one on Amazon from an off-brand that just didn't include these. And again, if you have to saw them in half, there's no other way of doing it than to put new ones in. And this is the Monroe model number for the 2003 RSX that I have. And your model may be different. You could just go to Monroe's website to search for the model number. Then you plug that into Amazon. I'll provide a link to these down in the description below. From that link, you'll be able to just click on what fits your particular vehicle. And it should, su should suggest the one for your particular vehicle. So once you've already cut the ones off that require cutting, um, then you could get a ratchet on this instead of just an open-ended wrench. With a ratchet, you're going to be able to get more torque on without stripping the head of the nut. So this is a 12 millimeter with just a small extension on it. Um, I pulled the rubber, rubber weather stripping away, which allows me to go in straighter without hitting it here. And I was able to get them off after being cut that way. The new ones thread right in, the same thread as the vehicle. And with these, you're able to tighten them with a half inch deep socket. Once you've got that in nice and tight with the half inch deep socket or a open ended wrench, these, because they have the retaining clip, should just pop right in and you just push them in. Just like that, it's on, locked in. Then you just follow this up, do the same for the tops. The top one I needed both hands, I actually held it and then just hit it in with my other hand. But once you've got that going, then they're both in. And if you've removed the weather stripping like I did, just make sure to put that back in place up there so that it's all nice and flush. And now it opens good as new. Holds itself up per perfectly. So one of my fears is that it would come up with too much force, but these seem to be made perfect for this car. As you can see here, I could close it with one hand and it's not gonna just come up and hit me in the face. So I'd say these are the ones to get. Again, I'll provide a link down in the description below. Like this video, hit the subscribe button and see more videos from my channel. Thanks again and thank you for watching. Oh yeah, a couple more nice scratches up there from when I had to cut it off. Who cares, right?